Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I will share nine powerful S Pen features for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. The Tab S9 Ultra comes with the S Pen included in the box for free. And with its ultra large 14.6 inch display, it offers a massive canvas for the S Pen to be used on. So let's dive in and discover some rock solid features. Before we dive in, there's going to be an exclusive link below for Saki Tech viewers for the Tab S9 Ultra with the following benefits. Instant free $50 Samsung discount only using the link below. And then all the usual benefits up to $650 in trade-in credits and also free 512 gigabyte storage upgrade. These are limited time offers during the pre-order phase, which ends on August the 11th. All right, the first feature I wanna talk about has to do with the calendar application. So let's launch the calendar application with the S Pen. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are in the monthly view, which is gonna be this one right here. And then on the top right, you're gonna see there's a pen icon. When you tap on the pen icon, what you can now do is you can actually start taking notes right on your calendar application, which is fantastic. You can also zoom in. For example, on the 14th, if you have certain plans, you can make little bullet lists and you can write next to it or whatever. And also, you are able to access the pen and color code your calendar entries as you please, okay? This is absolutely fantastic. Now, the good news is once you're done with this, you tap on save. Once you tap on save, these things actually remain right here. So if I go out, you can see even on my calendar widget, I can see the writings I just put on those particular dates. In fact, if you do dump the widget onto the home screen like I have done, you do have that pen icon right here as well. Now, when I tap on that pen icon, it takes you straight into the writing mode where you can start to write no problem. So, so this is just amazing. Again, when I tap on save, you can see on the 20th, the change I made reflects right on the actual widget. So it's all real time, it's all live, it's quite amazing. One more way to quickly access this feature is with the S Pen, uh, if you press the button to bring up the air command, you can see we can add a write on calendar option. So if I tap on this guy, uh, write on calendar, it's gonna bring the writing mode right away and I can again start writing uh, on the go. The fact that this is a super large display, the fact that I can use the S Pen makes this particular feature quite exciting, okay? Tap on save and move on. By the way, when you press the button, to bring up the air command, if you don't see write on calendar right here, simply tap on add. That's gonna take you to the air command customization menu from where you can manage your shortcut. So if this was not here, okay, let me just remove that for a second. It would be under S Pen features right here. So when you tap it, that appears in your air command menu and you can grab it and you can move it to the top if it's something you use all the time. As an example, if I were to add an app shortcut, let's just do calculator as an example, it appeared right there. So when I go back out, and if I press the air command, you can see the calculator shows up at the bottom and right on calendar is on the top, okay? The next amazing feature has to do with Samsung Notes. So when you launch the Samsung Notes application, obviously you can make a brand new note from here at the bottom. Okay, so here's a blank slate. And then from this blank slate, because again, this is a large display, most likely this is gonna be an amazing way to take notes for students. Now as students, we have to do more than just write. We have to draw stuff like circles. Now, let me just grab the pen here. So if I draw a circle by hand, it's not gonna look perfect or a triangle. It's not gonna look perfect or a square. You can do it, but what you can do is there's a couple ways to get it done perfectly. First way is when you draw a circle or a rectangle, you press and hold at the end, and that turns into a perfect rectangle or a circle, okay? So with this, I can just make flow charts. Math is gonna be very easy as far as note taking is concerned. On the top, there's a button that's known as auto fix shapes. When you click this button, let me just go down to a new page. 
Now, you don't have to press and hold. You can just draw a nasty triangle and it's just going to make it perfect for you. Or a circle, as you can see. Okay? Even an arrow is going to turn into a perfect arrow, square, okay? Or a rectangle, it's all going to be up to you. But this itself makes note taking extremely easy and powerful. The next powerful feature is known as S Pen to Text. So basically, with the notes application, what I can do is it's going to be right here, okay? So you click it, it's going to activate that. So now, if you're in the classroom and you're taking notes, let me just grab a new page here. What's going to happen is anything that you write, handwritten, is going to be converted to actual text. So look at this. I'm going to say hi, and within a second, that's going to convert to an actual text, okay? You still have your little bar here. You can put a space bar. Let me just say, how are you? How are... And that's some nasty handwriting, by the way, okay? But look at how even with the nasty handwriting, the S Pen just converts to text. Another great way to take notes and keep them nice and clean, especially if you have nasty handwriting like myself. All right, the next feature I want to talk about again with the S Pen, go to the settings, all right? And then what you want to do is you want to go to advanced features and then you're going to look for S Pen and inside S Pen, we are going to be talking about air actions. Now this pen right here is a Bluetooth enabled pen. So it connects to your tablet wirelessly via Bluetooth and you can see here it says we have 20% battery and right now it is detached but it is active. Of course the pen charges when you put it to the back of the tablet in the charging area. So we have enough battery life to demonstrate so Air Actions basically allows you to control your tablet with the S Pen remotely. There is a whole bunch of options but I want to touch on the most important ones. So for example uh, over here says choose air actions for individual apps let's look at the gallery so with the gallery it says if I single press the button here it goes to the next item if I double press goes to the previous item and then I have a bunch of gestures let me show you what I'm talking about so if I go to my gallery application let's just uh, make this bigger so if I press the button right now it is gonna go to the next item so I can actually run a presentation off of this tablet as you can see which is absolutely fantastic double press and it's gonna go back okay so this is the remote control functionality known as air actions that you can achieve with your S Pen on your Tab S9 Ultra and like I said there's so many things you can do I just give you an option but you can do things on the Samsung notes application if you go back down here you have these default options for example I can launch an application and control the application with the S Pen. So I can launch the camera application and then I can press this button and now it just took a photo and that went to my gallery, okay? So you can use this to do a lot of things remotely, wirelessly, via Bluetooth. And look at this, this is very important. You can control media. So you can play and pause media with your S Pen as a remote control, a single press is play, another single press is pause, or you can double tap to go to the next track, and then all the options are listed right here. So do not forget to utilize this amazing feature. Now, another great feature with the S Pen is the screen right option. So when you bring up the Air Command menu by tapping the button once, bring the pen close, tap the button, and brings up the Air Command, and here you have the screen right option. If you don't see it, tap on add and just add, like I showed it to you in the beginning. But when you tap on screen right, no matter where you are, it is going to take a screenshot of the entire screen and you can quickly take notes on it, no problem. So even if I was in the Play Store right here, as an example, let's say I was right here and I like what I'm seeing over here, I'm going to share it with a friend or something, okay? What I can do is I can press the button, I can tap on screen right, it's going to take a screenshot, and now on that screenshot, I can take some quick notes. Of course, I can modify my pen and colors, no problem. Okay, don't want this. This is great. Check this out. And then I can save this photo or share it with a friend. 
So I can do this with on any screen. The level of productivity that is possible with this simple feature is amazing. So if I save this, it's going to go to my gallery, which is right here, right over here. And then I can uh, share this photo, take some notes for meetings, whatever, and just send it over to whoever needs to see it. So a fantastic feature. The next thing you want to talk about, again, going back into the S Pen features under advanced features, it's known as the air view. Okay, so enable this feature and this feature gives you some amazing things. First, it can give you a pointer. So if I go to pointer only, you can see on the screen when I bring the S Pen close to the tablet, you're going to see a little pointer hovering on the screen just to show you where you are exactly with that pen. But I like to enable both previews and pointer and look at what I can do. So again, if I were to go to gallery as an example, let me just go into the main screen here. What I can do is I can hover over items like this and get previews. Okay, so hover over this, get a preview, and on the preview, without even touching the screen, I can delete that photo or share that photo. Okay, but the fact that I can get previews just by hovering over the screen is amazing and of course I can use the air view in many other applications in many different ways so even if I were to go to calendar application I can just hover over items and get pop-up previews of certain things okay so if I came here if I hover it's just gonna show me that a little bit as you can see so that's great as well that's the air preview option and again, the S Pen integration is deeply embedded into these products. So even if I go to my search bar right here, okay, normally you can type stuff, but because you have the S Pen, you can just simply start writing in here, okay? So if I was searching for the camera application, I can do CA, it pops up, or I can just start writing inside, CA, and that's going to do the same thing. So you can write inside any text field, okay? This can be anywhere. So if I go to my browser, I can start writing right in here if I want it to, www.whatever.com. So essentially, you can use this in place of a keyboard if that is what you desire. All right, so another great feature, if your tab screen is turned off like this, and you want to take a quick note without actually logging into your tablet, what you can do is you can grab your S Pen, press the S Pen button, and then double tap on the screen, that's going to activate note taking and you can start to take notes immediately without even logging into your account, to your uh, tablet. You can change the pen and of course you can change the pen color as you can see. I can go with yellow, I can go with uh, you know green, whatever, and I can change the thickness all from the lock screen without actually logging into my tablet. Great for note taking on the go quickly. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. These are some powerful features for Samsung Galaxy tablets with the S Pen. And the great thing is the S Pen comes free with the tablet. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.